and you've just been watching my clouds dropping out on his drum kit. We are Peripatetic Music Teachers for the City of Stoke-on-Trent. I've been joined here today by Ben Foxcroft, who's the 2021 Junior Young Musician of the Year. And we're here to show you a little bit about learning to play this wonderful instrument, the drum kit. Some of you may already play the drum kit, some of you may know people that play the drum kit, but today we're going to demonstrate just some of the wonderful things that we're going to play this fantastic instrument with the City Music Service you can achieve. Okay then, so let's give everybody an idea about what it's like to start on this instrument. Some people might have already had a go, but for those that haven't, we're going to do a very quick demonstration of maybe the first lesson, first couple of lessons that you would have on the drum kit. Now most people, they start with a groove, a rhythm that's commonly known as a basic rock beat. It's kind of like the foundations of all the other grooves and the rhythms that we're going to play. So we're going to look at putting that together, okay? So if you pick your sticks up for me, please. We're going to use three parts of the drum kit today. We're going to use this hi-hat cymbal pad. We're going to use the bass drum pad, which is just hiding down there. And we're going to use the drum in front of them called the snare drum. Those three instruments are kind of the muscle backbone factory of our playing. So we're going to start with the hi-hat pattern. And with your right drumstick, I'd like you to play and count from one up to four, please. Nice and steady, just take your time. Away you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and stop. Fantastic. So the hi-hats are really important in this groove. That's the glue that's going to keep the whole pattern together. So we're going to count along with that all the time. So now then, we're going to add in the bass drum with your right foot, please. And as you're playing those four hi-hats, we're going to play the bass drum together with the cymbal on the first beat. Number one in the pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Excellent, well done. Ben's been doing this for quite a while now, so he's probably finding this really, really easy. So now, we need to add in our left hand now on the snare drum. And the snare drum we're going to play on number three in the pattern. So bass drum on number one, snare drum on number three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Keep going, that's marvellous. So we've got now that whole groove together. This is known as the basic rock beat. And the next step is, with a little bit of time, bit of practice, a little bit of patience, we can speed up a little bit, get the pattern a little bit faster. We can add some more bass drums and some more snare drums in. And the groove starts to develop. Then, when we get these grooves going, sitting along in the background, we can break those up with some fills or fillings around the rest of the drum kit. Thank you very much. So, it looks really, really easy, but it's not that easy, is it? We, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of hard work, a lot of patience. Thank you, Ben, that was fantastic. So, that's how we start 
putting together a groove and some ideas on the drum kit. And if you guys get the chance to have lessons, you'll be able to further your skills and develop your talent. The more work you put in, the more you get from it. Now the next step is that we take the grooves and the fills and we can combine them together and start to think about playing a whole piece of music. And it's usually at this point that musicians start to learn to read music. And to do that, with the drum kit, we usually look at either learning pieces from the Rock School syllabus or London College of Music syllabus. And those pieces allow us to work hard towards gaining a qualification and a graded exam certificate. Ben's going to play one of those beginner rock school pieces for us now. So, as well as learning to play the instrument on your own, the music service also offers lots of different evening ensembles for you to come and join with other young musicians and use your skills in a group or an ensemble.
basic rock beat. And we've heard the wonderful sounds that, that this electronic drum kit can make. Alongside playing different grooves and fills and all those wonderful sounds, there are some really important technical exercises that a drummer needs to learn right from the beginning. So to show us some of those, I'm going to hand back to Mr. Klaus on another video that he recorded a little bit earlier. Hi, Mike Klaus here from the City Music Service. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use a practice pad, which today I'll just be simulating with a damping pad on my snare drum. Now, if you haven't got a drum kit at home, all you really need to get going is a pair of sticks and a practice pad. You can get them from any local music shop or online quite easily. Now, I'm going to show you three exercises. A single stroke, a double stroke and a paradiddle. Now, the practice pad is like a forge where you develop these exercises over time and refine them. And then eventually when you do get a drum kit, they will all translate onto the kit and I'll show you that in a minute too. So, first of all, a single stroke is basically just this. It's stroke is just two on each stick so it's right right left left right right left left then the paradiddle is like a mixture of the two and it goes right left right right left right left left right left right right left right left left now the goal over time is to practice them regularly and you'll develop the quality of them and the velocity of them too. So I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate each going from slow to medium to fast speed uh, just on the practice pad to start with. So single strokes developed to that velocity just with sticks and a practice pad. Now if I just take this off for a moment, put the snares back on. So once you've developed them all to that level, the single stroke, you can play it like that, round the drums means you can do this. The double stroke, medium tempo can be used around the drums like this. Also, with a lot of practice you can eventually bounce them so you get this effect. So that's your drum roll straight away. You can also bounce them around the drums and get sort of this effect. Then the paradiddle. This one's a bit trickier to get up to speed. At the moment I'm only doing about this velocity. So again, if we just put that round the drums, we get this. Something like that. Okay, so there you go. Practice pad eventually gives you all those exercises. Happy drumming. Thanks Mr. Klaus. So of course, learning to play an instrument can be fun, challenging and exciting. And it really is a skill that you have for the rest of your life. Here's a little reminder of some of the other important things that learning to play an instrument could bring to you.
hopefully you folks have been inspired to maybe consider learning to play an instrument and in particular the drum kit with the city music service. So a big thank you to Ben, a thank you to Mr. Klaus, a thank you to your teacher for organising and arranging this and hopefully fingers crossed we might see one or two of you again soon. Happy drumming. Go on then.